I did a Formic Pro treatment on this hive today. It originally started with two deep boxes. I'm choosing option B for Formic Pro. Option B is to put one pad on, wait 10 days and take the pad off so it's a 20 day treatment. Unlike the original which is you put two pads across. What I did was I removed the entrance and if you had a screen bottom board, you should close it. In this case, because the nectar flow season is on, bees are actively foraging, I added a couple honey boxes. One, it's gonna relieve pressure for swarming, and two, because of the formic giving off a lot of volatiles, the bees will have space to remove themselves to an extra place. Now, if there's honey on here, it's okay because Formic is approved to use with honey. Now, the next couple days are going to be very cool. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week, and it won't get higher than 70 degrees. So, in that context, it's a perfect week to treat. So, Formic Pro, option B, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, a couple things before I get started. This is uh, Formic Pro, not Might Away Quick Strips. The way you use this is you take your scissors and you cut the end off, and then you cut through the package this way, and you remove the sash. Inside here are two Formic Pro patties, and they're attached to a paper. You do not take them off the paper, it's really important, it doesn't work properly. I'm going to use the other one in another hive later down the row. You're only going to see me do one install. So when you open these, make sure you have a plan. Now, they're made with two so that you can put two strips on, but as I said before, I'm going to do a one strip treatment uh, every 10 days. You could look at the Nod website for how to apply these in the two options. I'm going with plan B. You should know that you have the right cartridge that is acceptable for an acid, and I do. When you buy one of these masks, make sure you get one that is rated for the chemical you're using. Uh, these are NIOSH standard, I'm not sure what they are, it's been a long time, but I looked them up and I know I have the right one. You should do the same thing. The other thing that I want to say about this is when you do this, if you have a screen bottom board, the recommendation is to close the screen off. But if you have, like I do, an entrance reducer, you should remove the entrance reducer and allow the full entrance opening. So that's how I'm going to do it. You'll see me remove the entrance reducer. So I'm going to ahead and get started on all of this. I just wanted to cover a couple more things before I actually got in. So here I go.
Okay, all done. I'll put the weight back on and strap it up and I'll be all set. I'll come back in 10 days, pull the stack apart and pull that out and replace it with a fresh one. Thanks for watching.